With the recent addition of social slayer into Halo Infinite, a lot of people started asking, what's so great about it? I mean, for the most part, for playing this, it does really play out a lot similar to, say, Action Sack, for example. I mean, we also did get ranked free for all, we got ranked King of the Hill, which I know ranked players are not super keen on ranked King of the Hill uh, for free for all, but we also got Kong Slayer, Ninja Slayer, Purple Rain, Rock and Repulsors, and Rocket Dodgeball. All these modes play out very similar to, say, like an Action Sack type of experience. But it seems like they have different plans when it comes to action attack within Halo Infinite, which is quite interesting here. It has something to do with Forge as well. I'll bring this up here in this video. I talked about this in a previous video, but just kind of get it nice short to the point on this one here saying, last question here, why isn't Social Slayer called Action Sack? It seems a little strange to not use the same name a lot of people recognize, which I mean, similar thing as like SWAT and stuff like that, uh, not being in the game. Zach Boyce, who is one of the multiplayer game designers left at 343 right now, says, have a different idea for Action Sack, particularly when we start getting our hands on wild stuff the community makes with Forge, which I'm like, okay, that makes a little bit more sense to kind of save the action sack stuff for when Forge comes around. But thing is, how fast is that turnaround going to be with Forge? I mean, we've been playing this game for essentially a year now at this point, and 343 is not exactly quick on the turnaround process. Michael, sure, you've been provided a little bit of an insight of how long it took to just to get the pit into a work in progress state. Okay. I don't really speak to it too much. Yeah. It wasn't like super fast. Like, I mean, that um, I think Golden Boy earlier said something about two weeks. It was not two weeks. It was not, it was not that fast. Um, you know, maps do take time. Yeah. You know, and yeah. There's, you know, there's, there's a process that you got to go through. And, you know, like I said on stage, we spent, you know, we spent at least six weeks testing the, um, just the block out uh, geometry to make sure that. So six weeks of just block out testing. That's before even putting textures and finalize the design of the map. Though the Forge Lord himself recently reached out to Twitter to get some feedback from the community of what people want for it comes a bit of a Q&A in the next future blog video or commentary, whatever comes up with uh, 343 here. As we do know that we are expecting to see the final installment of the Forge Fundamentals next week, which we will cover here on the channel. Is gonna be talking a lot about the file share process and things like that. My question was if Academy will be involved with Forge in any capacity doing like tutorials or something like that we did see leaks about this i did get a few likes no response from directly on that one but the follow-up with what we're talking about here mimplet said well 33 would be adding community maps into matchmaking regularly how easy such difficult would it be to do this is very important to know because i know a lot of people are going to be very curious or very eager to play halo infinite's forge content as soon as it comes out now it just matters about when they actually finally drop the content for us to play. If you like these short news videos, make sure you tap that like button. Let me know you want to see some content like this and it's the best way to support the channel. If you want to catch the latest update on Forge, check out this video right here. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.